problem 146, so we're going to take a look at our pattern that we've been figuring out for a plus b to the fifth to write just the fourth term of w minus 4z to the fifth. So to do this, let's take a look, first of all, at Pascal's triangle. Since we are dealing with something to the fifth power, we're dealing with an n value of 5, and these are our coefficients, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So I know that my coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, and 1. The fourth term of this would be that one. So that's the number that we are looking at. So if I started writing this out, I would have a to the fifth with a coefficient of 1 plus 5 a to the fourth, b, plus 10, a to the third, b squared, plus 10, a squared, b to the third. Remember our patterns that our exponents always add up to our n number. So for this next one, I have a 4 and a 1. That adds up to 5. I have a 3 and a 2. That adds up to 5. And a 2 and a 3, that also adds up to 5. So since I only want the fourth term, I'm only dealing now with this one. So I don't really care about the rest right now. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all that. And now I'm going to use my substitution. My A value is W. And my B value is a negative 4Z. So my term now is going to be 10 times w squared times negative 4z to the third. Now it's important right now to have these exponents on the outsides of the parentheses. And the reason why is because now I need to simplify. I have 10 and w squared is just w times w, which is w squared. That one didn't matter as much, but the next one is important. Because when I have negative 4z to the third power, that is the same thing as negative 4z times negative 4z times negative 4z, which makes a negative 64z to the third. Now my last step for this is just to multiply. Make sure you realize that this is still multiplying everything. So all of this right here was multiplying. So I'm not taking 10 minus 64. I'm actually going through and multiplying a negative 64 times 10. So my final answer for this problem is now a negative 640 for 10 times negative 64. W squared z to the third. Hope that helps.